What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Maria. So as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be doing the get to know me tag. I've been doing a lot of makeup tutorials on my channel, but I kind of feel like you don't really get a sense of my personality and you don't really know who I am. So I kind of wanted to do this video for you guys just so you can get to know me and have a better idea of who I really am. <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. It would be greatly appreciated. Now let's go ahead and get started. So I just looked up some questions like online and stuff. So here we go. First question, what is my full name? My full name is Maria Elena Guajardo with the English accent. It's just Maria Elena Guajardo. I was actually named after my grandma on my dad's side. She passed away from breast cancer before I was born and my dad wanted to name me after her. So that's where my name comes from. Love you grandma. What is my zodiac sign? I'm actually a Pisces. My birthday is March 5th. It's actually coming up. It's like two weeks away, I think. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be 22. What are three fears of mine? Hmm. I would say losing my parents. Losing my parents is a big fear of mine. I'm terrified of drowning or like suffocating. And I guess the third one would maybe be um, not being happy in life. You know, getting to the end of my life and then looking back and being like, I don't know. Three things I love. Um, number one, I love ice cream. Ice cream is like my biggest weakness. <laughs> so ice cream for sure. Uh, my parents and my dog. Who is my best friend? My best friend is actually my boyfriend. His name is Joseph. We have been together for seven years and he seriously is my absolute best friend. Like we just, we literally click. We're like the same person. I'm just like the female version. He's the guy version. Love of my life. The last song that I've listened to was actually 21 Savage, No Heart. Me and my boyfriend were just chilling in here, like listening to music like while I was doing my makeup and stuff. So that one. Three turn-ons. I would have to say good teeth, like pretty, pretty teeth. Um, like when a guy smells good. And three would have to be a good sense of humor. I like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. So if someone can't laugh with me, it's kind of like you're a boring person three turn offs. I would say a closed minded person like I'm a very open minded person and if someone just can't like put themselves in somebody else's shoes just to kind of understand then it's kind of like I don't know those type of people to me just seem like it's their way or the highway and like you can never really explain anything to them so that's one. A second turn off is like somebody that's like so into themselves that you like can't even be around them. And a third turn off would probably be bad breath. Like nobody likes bad breath. What color underwear am I wearing right now? Gray. <laughs> How many tattoos slash piercings do I have? So I actually have one tattoo. Um, this is the only tattoo that I have. It says, I love you and stay strong. I love you is in my dad's handwriting and then stay strong is in my mom's handwriting. And then I just have two little hearts underneath that. Growing up, I was always such a daddy's girl. And so I always had this like really close connection with my dad. And so I wanted his handwriting to say, I love you. My mom was more the one that taught me to be independent. She taught me to think for myself and really be confident in myself. And she is so strong that I just always admire her for that. So I got her handwriting saying, stay strong. I do plan on getting a lot more tattoos. Sorry, dad but <laughs> my entire family has tattoos um, my uncle is a tattoo artist and so i'm gonna i'm gonna get more tattoos <laughs> and as far as piercings i have my industrial pierced so it's this piercing right here i just have a little star diamond i got that when i was 15. my parents actually took me to a tattoo shop to get it and it was so painful everybody always asked me if it was painful and yes it was it took a year to heal but I absolutely love it and I would definitely do it all over again. And then of course, I just have my ears pierced. Why did I start YouTube? I've wanted to make a YouTube channel since I was in high school, like since I was like a freshman in high school. I used to always be on YouTube watching makeup tutorials and stuff like that and I always wanted to do it. I just never had the guts to. I was always like, I don't know, like what if I'm not good enough? What if people don't like me? What if like people just are ugly? You know, the internet is such a scary place sometimes. So I was kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. 
and I put it off for so long. And then finally in college, my boyfriend was the one who really motivated me to do it. He pushed me. He was like, go for it. Like, you're good. You're good at makeup. Like, everybody always asks you about your makeup and compliments you. So why not make a channel? Like, people would love you. And so I was like, mm, I don't know. Well, he ended up buying me a camera. And so I was just kind of like, well, I guess I kind of have to, right? And I did and I started and I absolutely love it. I love being able to create my own videos and kind of add my own style, my own twist into it and play with makeup all the time. Like makeup is my love, like I love makeup. And to be able to do that and like share that with you guys and like be able to have people that ask me questions about things all the time, like how I do my makeup. And to be able to show you on a platform like this is just amazing to me. So I'm glad I started. How do I feel right now? I'm hungry. Like actually I'm hungry. It's like 1027 right now and I'm starving. Something I really, really want. I really want to travel. I honestly want to travel. Like me and my boyfriend have talked about it so much. We just want to leave. We just want to like go places, see everywhere in this world that we possibly can. And yeah, I just, I would really love to travel. What's my favorite movie? This is actually kind of hard. I watch movies all the time. There's times when me and Joseph would be like, hey, like let's watch a movie. It's like, okay, cool. And like, we'll look and it's like, We've, we've seen everything, so I don't know. I would say my favorite movie, A Bronx Tale. I love that movie. I grew up watching that movie. I just, I absolutely love that movie. Um, World War Z, uh, I love zombie movies, so that one was a really good one. And I also really love Disney movies, like The Little Mermaid, Snow White, Alice in Wonderland, Pocahontas, like all of those movies, I love those. So I kind of have like a lot of favorite movies. <laughs> Three things that upset me. Um, smacking is one. I I don't know what it is like when people like suck their teeth or when they smack while they're eating. Like, I don't know. I just, it irks me. Like I, ugh, like just the sound of like somebody smacking while they're eating while I'm trying to eat or like just being around me doing that annoys me. Another one would be inconsiderate drivers. And a third thing that would probably upset me is like when my makeup doesn't come out right. I worked so hard to do my makeup and then at the end I look in the mirror and I'm like, like it's so frustrating, right? Then you feel like you gotta take it off and like start all over. It's annoying. Three things that make me happy. Ice cream. <laughs> Um, my dog, um, his name is Levi. I love him to death. And I would say actually spending time with my nephews. I'm in college right now, so I live like three and a half hours away from them. I have three nephews and they're growing up so fast and I just really miss them. Like I miss being able to be with them all the time. And so when I'm with them, I'm super happy. Like they're my world. Someone I miss, my grandpa. My grandpa passed away in 2009. I think I was in like seventh grade and um, he passed away. And so I really miss him. He was my best friend. He would always take me to like go get donuts in the morning. He would always take me to school. We would always go like on these long drives where I obviously didn't know where I was going. I was so little and like we would just be driving and like singing in, the, in his truck and I don't know, I just, I really miss those times. Like, I miss him so much. Someone I love. Obviously my boyfriend and definitely my parents, my entire family, of course. What's my relationship with my parents? I'm actually pretty close with my parents. Growing up, my parents were always like, super entertaining i guess my dad is hilarious he's a jokester he's always just being really goofy and my mom is always like his number one fan like she's always being goofy right there with him and so my parents have always been really fun like all my friends that i've met them just absolutely love them and we've always been really close like i'm the youngest so i feel like i don't know I, i'm i'm a lot closer to my parents because i was the last one to leave the house. I don't know what I would be without them. One word to describe me. I would say loving. I'm really open-minded. I'm not judgmental at all. I love everybody and I respect everyone and I wish the world was like that. I wish everybody could respect everybody and be open-minded enough to know that we aren't the only ones here. You know, it's not, the world doesn't revolve around us, like just one person or one race or anything like that. Like if everybody could just understand that we're all human.
You know, we're all, we all come from the same place and God loves all of us and he made all of us. Like, I just don't understand why people can't, can't get that, you know, like, why can't you just love your neighbor or love the person that is next to you without any judgment or without any question, you know, I just feel like hate and envy and jealousy and fear and all of that kind of stuff is just unnecessary and I felt that this world would be a much better place if people just learned to love and if people just learned to not be so judgmental and have an open mind and be able to relate to people as far as just putting yourself in someone else's shoes and trying to see the life that they experience because yours could be totally different and you never know what someone else is going through so I know that kind of got a little deep but I just feel really passionate about things like that and yeah I would I guess I would say I'm pretty loving <laughs> and passionate <laughs> what's my favorite holiday my favorite holiday would definitely have to be Christmas it's not even about the gifts or like anything like that it's just the spirit of Christmas like going out in public and there's Christmas lights everywhere just like the the Christmas spirit you know like it just feels different like when, when it's Christmas time it's beautiful like I love Christmas and I actually really love winter so I like when it's cold um, it doesn't get like super cold here in Texas but I still love the cold <laughs> someone famous that I would date um I don't know maybe Channing Tatum he's always kind of been like my celebrity crush but I don't know as he's getting older he's not looking so hot anymore I'm kind of like I don't know so the young Channing Tatum what's my favorite animal I would actually probably have to say dogs I know it's really like generic like everybody loves dogs but I don't know like I I've always loved dogs um, if it isn't dogs I would probably have to say maybe lions I like lions a lot <laughs> do I have any pets so of course like I've said I have a dog his name is Levi he is two years old and he is a lab pit mix name an embarrassing moment okay so <laughs> first thing that comes to my mind this was actually for joseph's birthday last year i believe it was and um we went to this tejano event where gary hobbs was performing he's a tejano singer and he was performing and it was at like this dance hall and i was wearing this shirt that was like um, it didn't have any sleeves it had like a collar and then like it kind of came down right here on the sides so i wasn't wearing like a regular bra i had like those like cutlet like chicken cutlet things that like you stick on and it had like an attachment in the center and we were drinking and dancing the entire night joseph's mom had like a centerpiece in the middle of the table full of jello shots and these jello shots were strong like she made them strong so she had those in the center and like we were already drinking a bunch and we were dancing the whole night so obviously I was like sweating a little bit and I'm like sitting at the table like we had like little like round tables that we reserved and it was like me and my boyfriend his brother and like all of our friends and stuff like sitting with us and I was just sitting there and I think I like took a drink and as soon as I was taking a drink my like cutlets or whatever they're called fell off like nobody noticed <laughs> Well, at least I hope nobody noticed but I was like sitting there and I just like took a drink and it just like poof, like they fell off inside of my shirt like they weren't sticking anymore because I was sweating and I was like oh my god I hope nobody's seen that and like only one was really like still secure like it was still kind of stuck on there but the other one fell off so that one was like kind of coming off and I was like oh my god like what am I gonna like I can't put it back on right here like I have to pick up my shirt it was in my lap like the left one was in my lap and I was like oh my god so I just like got up so fast I had my drink in my hand still and I had my arms like this <laughs> like I had my drink and my phone and I was just like oh my god like I walked to the bathroom and like I said I don't think anybody noticed because like everybody was dancing and like people were drinking and stuff and I just like ran to the bathroom but as soon as I got in there there were so many women I like ran into the first stall and I like lifted my shirt and like stuck it back on and like really pressed because I didn't want them to fall off again. I feel like if somebody would have seen that and like I knew that they seen it, I would have been so embarrassed. But it was pretty funny and like I said, I was like pretty drunk at the time. So those things come off easily, especially if you're sweating. What is my favorite quote? Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I like that quote because it really reminds me that God's got you and God will always make everything work in your favor, whether you see it that way or not. He will always have your best interest at heart and he already has a plan for you. Okay guys, so I think that wraps up today's video. I hope that gave you a better understanding about who I am. That was only a few questions. If you guys would like me to do another get to know me tag or even if you have questions that you would want to know, go ahead and leave me some comments down below and I could totally do another video like this for you or just answer your questions in the comments. I definitely want to bring my personality out more into my channel and I felt like this video gave that opportunity for us to really kind of get to know each other so if you relate to anything that I said or some of the questions that I answered go ahead and leave me a comment I would love to know if you've had some of the same experiences I've had I would love to hear from you so go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you feel like you kind of have a little sense of who I am and my personality and if you liked this video then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me I would love it if you joined my little family but yeah, like I said, I'm hungry, so I'm probably gonna go get me some food. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.